Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode we're going to be taking a bit of a nostalgia trip back to the mid to late 2000s to explore old Flash games. This was an idea that I just randomly thought of recently and I was like maybe I should do this just pick out some games that I remember playing and just go through them in a nice laid-back video the other thing that made me kind of want to do this even more was just last night I found out that mini clip is shutting down very unfortunate news but mini clip is dead at least in its original and most iconic form the website is still around if you go to miniclip.com but it's really just kind of an advertisement for all of their mobile games that they have it just kind of has has links to where you can download them in the App Store or in the Google Play Store. Although they do have two online games remaining, those being 8-Ball Pool and Agario, which I didn't even realize they owned Agario, but they do. And when you just click on those links, it takes you to the respective website for 8-Ball Pool and Agario. But yeah, Miniclip in its original form is gone, which is just really sad because, I mean, I remember messing around on Miniclip a lot, and it's where a lot of these Flash games originated from. I mean, the first game that I've got in this list here, Bloxors, was published by Miniclip.com, but it was also available on some other websites uh, that happened pretty commonly with Flash games where, you know, like Miniclip would publish a game and then Cool Math Games would come along and like negotiate something with the game's developer and it would get put over on Cool Math Games as well. And I mean, there were a bunch of these websites back then. And we're gonna definitely be playing some Bloxors today along with these eight additional Flash games that I've got in this list here. And just to point out, these are not necessarily the most popular Flash games ever. I'm sure some people will comment and go, how did you miss this game? Or how did you not talk about this? Because these are not necessarily the most popular ones. These are just the ones that I remember playing the most um, back when I had downtime in computer class or whatever and and was able to you know log on to like cool math games or, or one of the unblocked flash games websites at my school and just mess around for a few minutes or so so yeah some of these are definitely really popular though. i mean i would say block source is definitely up there at least to me i remember playing this game a lot and I, I kind of stuck with puzzle games most of the time. I really was into puzzle games, and, and Block Source is certainly one of those. So yeah, I think to get started, we'll just load up Block Source here, and we'll minimize Flashpoint. Yes, we are using Flashpoint, by the way. Uh, this is the... Oh my gosh, that old intro animation. That is... <laughs> That old mini clip intro is rather iconic. But yeah, Flashpoint, if you're not familiar, this is a really awesome uh, project that allows you to just play a massive library of archived Flash games in their original form. Um, even though Adobe has, you know, killed off Flash, that, that happened back in late 2020, and that's when I originally made a video on this thing. So, if you want to get more info and get started with it, I'll have a link up in the cards uh, to that video. But, chances are, if you're here, you already know about Flashpoint, because, uh, well... That's how these games live on, at least one of the ways. There are um, other projects like it as well. So we're just going to start Block Source here, and we'll see how far I can get. Uh, and I'm, I mean, I was definitely pretty proficient at this game back then. Um, all this stuff is kind of coming back to me. The last time I actually played this was in 2020 in that Flashpoint video, because I remember just sitting down and using it when I was demoing Flashpoint. So, yeah, let me see there. Nope, I did that wrong. There we go. Made some additional unnecessary moves there. And I still love, gosh, just seeing this just interface brings things back for me. This passcode thing up here, this was very common for Flash games to utilize a passcode functionality to allow you to jump to a certain point in the game. Like, Block Source here has all these different stages, and so if you got to a certain stage, you would write down the passcode to come back to it later. Um, gosh, that is just... Th this is really bringing back memories for me. So... But yeah, my school, I'm pretty sure, blocked miniclip.com, so we would get access to Block Source and a bunch of the other games through, like, Cool Math Games, and there were some other ones. So yeah, let's see... And we got to go here. There we go. Oh my gosh. All right, stage six. Gosh, I'm already on stage six. Jeez. 
I don't think I ever beat this game, though. That is one thing. Uh, I, I never got to the end. And I don't know if we're going to get to the end today. I'm probably going to get stumped at some point. Because there, there definitely are some levels that... Uh, I mean, th these levels can get kind of kind of confusing. There's no question about that. Um, I'm like talking here, and I'm just having th this like muscle memories coming back to me at how you go through these stages, at least some of them. Um, all right, let's see. I think you go over here. Yep, you turn that on. And then we go down here, and you don't do that. You have to like, oh gosh, you got to like flip it around like this. I think, yeah. But no, 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 you have to land. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Not quite like that. Yeah, you, you basically have to get here. There we go. That's what we need to do. And then now we go up here, go over. And just do that. I probably made some additional unnecessary moves there. But, cut me a break, it's been a while since I've played this game. And this was one of my favorite features in the game too, the the split thing, where it would split uh, the the block, the block source, whatever it's called. I don't know if there was ever a name for this, was it actually named, like, THE block source or something? I don't know. Yeah, I gotta get in on that block source lore. Stage 10, I think there's 30-something stages in this, and I think the most that I ever got to was like 20, maybe it was stage 20? I don't know. Now this is one I think if you hit this again... Oh no, I, I think there's there's one of these stages where when you hit something and it like turns something on and then if you hit it again you're just screwed. Or like it's one of these bridges is like already enabled and then when you hit the uh, thing it like turns it off and you just have to restart the entire level. Um, or, well, okay, I just completely screwed up there. Does it, I forget, does it count your total moves, or does it reset them when you die? Like, I got 319. Oh, it does reset them, yeah, so now I'm back to 315. That's nice, okay. Yeah, I did not even really pay attention to that. I was never really concerned at, like, getting the best possible score. I just wanted to beat the game. Um... But, I, I think we, me and some of my friends at the time, we, we kind of would do a bit of a competition with this, I think, where we'd see, like, who could get the farthest in the game the fastest. Because, um, I mean, Bloxors is strictly single player, so you'd have to, like, just have a little bit of, you know, creativity there if you wanted to play the game with other people. I think this is the one where if we hit this... Yeah, it, it, you're, you're just screwed, because it, it shuts that, or it, you know, closes that there, and you can't um, fold it back out, so you just have to fall off the edge. So, yeah, this is exactly the one that I was thinking of, so we have to avoid hitting that. And I think... I think what you have to do is get the block like this, but one over to the left, so that you can go down... Let's see if I can remember how to do that. I think we go like this. I think this is just what we did. Yeah. Gotta go like back here, down. I think this, this is starting to seem right. No. Yeah, you gotta really avoid that. Was that it? No, that's the same thing. Oh, shoot. But yeah, I really like... Oh, gosh, I made over 100 moves there? Jeez. I, I really like how it does not... Um, tra like, even when you die, it like doesn't count all those moves. But honestly, I think that it should. Because, you know, you, you lost. And if you were... You know, if you knew how to beat the level, you wouldn't have gotten those unnecessary moves. So that is interesting that it chooses not to not to do that. Oh, I think this is how we do it. Yeah, that's it. And then we go over and then there we go. Oh, oh, I almost I almost misfired there and fell off. Okay. So this one 
And if I haven't already mentioned it, I love the background music. It's not really music at this point, it's just kind of like ambient sounds, but it really just fits with the vibe really well. So, what do we have to do here? I think we gotta hit the center one first. Or no, I think, or do we? Oh man. Yeah, we have to, because there's no way you can get to that one over there. I think when you hit that, it folds out one here so that I can go to the right one space. But I believe, I think you have to go down here to like reposition yourself. Maybe, maybe not. No, that's just what I did. No. So we have to be, I think you have to be standing up. No, we have to be flat here. Because then you'll go up and down. Yeah, so we need to be, yeah, we have to be flat, but on those two blocks. And to do that, I'm making a bunch. Of, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to jump off because I've made so many unnecessary moves there. Um. All right. Let's see. So basically, I, I have to be in this position, but one over to the right. So, and I think we accomplish that by, oh, there we go. That's how we do it. So that turns that on. And then now we just go down here. And I think that will do it for us. There we go. Now it doesn't really matter that we've turned that off because we don't need it. Oh, it's gonna go up here, and there we go. Again, some unnecessary moves, but whatever. And okay. Oh, we're gonna die there. Because yeah, if you well, I, I guess I can just do it to show you if you've never seen this before. So these orange ones, you can only land flat on them. If you're standing up, you'll just fall through. So yeah, if you didn't know that, there you go. So there is a way, I believe, like, not like that. I think we have to be, like, one over or something. I think we gotta be flat. No. Let's see. Yeah, we have to be like this, I believe. And then we go there, and there. And then this. I think we gotta go, nope, not like that. We gotta go, oh, shoot. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't really know how long we're going to spend on these. This is absolutely going to be a long video, just FYI. Be prepared. Um, oh, I just did that wrong. Or wait, did I? No. No, no, no. That's right. Um, I will have chapters, though, if you want to skip to a particular Flash game and uh, see me play that. So if you don't really care about Block Sores or any of the other ones and there's like one game you're interested in, uh, feel free to skip around. But yeah... Let me see. I think we gotta go down one, up. No, because that screws us there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like I said, these, these games can get kind of challenging. And I know that there's gonna be people that are gonna comment and go, I was screaming, you should have done this. Like, I know, dude, don't scream at the screen. It, it's not gonna, you're, I'm, I'm not gonna hear you. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just the way these games are. There we go. All right, and now, um, I believe we do. Yep, there we go. 732 moves. Definitely uh, a, a little excessive, but, you know, like I said, I never really kept track of the moves, so I honestly don't really know what a good amount of moves is to have on a particular level, or like by a, by a particular level in the game. I think if we do that, we can go up here. Man, all right, that one was pretty smooth. Stage 15. Okay, now this is the one where, I believe this is the one where you can't hit either of these. Yeah, so, just wanted to double check that there. 
And I guess that's nice, too, that it doesn't... I mean, I know I've mentioned the whole moves thing like five times already, but I guess it is nice that it doesn't track the moves when you die, because if you're trying to, like, experiment and see how certain uh, components in the game function, um, you know, I guess it's not super fair to, like, penalize you for that. But, oh, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. All right, let's go here. I believe we just got to hit this, and that will enable that, and then we got to go here, do that to re-enable that, and then go down here. Yeah, there we go. I'm feeling stage 20 is a good stopping point. So, oh my gosh, this one, I remember this one. This was so obnoxious. Because there's like a particular way you have to... I think I think it's this one. Yeah. And then you got to do this. And then you got to go back here. And do that. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Although, we do need... Well, you just go back here. And, okay, well, you don't do that. <laughs> but, I think I know uh, what to do. So, you got to go here, here, and then... Nope, not that. I think it's that. No. All right, now I can't remember which one it was. Oh, yeah, it's that. There we go. And then you do that. Go back here. Flip that up. And then we just need to go back. And I always loved when it would put you into the cubes. Because then you could just line it up like that and just kind of ease your way in like that. Super simple. All right, now this one. Is this a trap? No, it's not. Okay. That's a trap right there. Because now we can't get back. Okay, so we'll go back. Actually, no, I, I don't think that is... Yeah, it's not a trap, because you, you just have to... Oh, did I screw up there? Okay, that just turns it off. So you need that. Yeah, it's not a trap, because now that we have that on, you just have to go back there. To uh, enable that one, and then we can still get back here. You just have to move up one, and there we go. And now we can still get to the exit. But we just have to be like... Let's go back here. I believe it's got to go there. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, stage 18. Oh boy. Uh, this one I don't really remember. <laughs> I don't really remember this one. Oh, no. Yeah, how do we get to... We have to be standing up on that one. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's that screwed me up, didn't it? Alright, I think I'm going to try this one more time. And if I die... Like, not necessarily on this level, but the next time I die... I think I'm going to call it for Block Source here, because we've been playing it for a decent amount of time. So, how do I get... I, I, I want to avoid hitting these buttons, because I think that... Yeah, there we go. So that turns that on. Now, we have to definitely get down here to the X. There we go, but we just need to be... I don't think we can hit... I'm, I'm nervous to hit, like, I think this is going to... Yeah, I think we're... Oh, yeah, now we're... Or no, do we just have to restart? I think we can just do this again. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to avoid hitting <laughs> all of uh, those buttons over there. When you're going down here to hit the X. I think... Nope. That won't do it. Will this... No. I think that... No. No, that won't do it because we can't actually get to where we need to go.
There we go. I think that'll do it. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot. They're right here. There we go. Whoo. Alright. My goal is to make it to stage 20, but the next time I fall, I am going to end the game. I'm going to honor my my rule there. So I got to be really careful here. Watch me fall off in like the next two seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you go, yeah, you go down and then... I think I think I gotta flip back here. And we want it to be off, because I'm gonna go back here. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think we gotta do that. Turn it off, get here, move up one, then go over, then I'll be yeah, then I'll be flat here. I think can this uh no, that's only turning it off. Okay. So this one here probably turns it on. And I think we got to go back and adjust ourselves there so that we can be flat here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We made it to stage 20. I think there's like 32 stages, if I remember correctly. And yeah, I never got to stage... Um, oh, I think I'm screwed. I think I am screwed. Yeah, there's nowhere for me to go unless this... Oh, wait a second. This might do something. Okay, it does that, but I can't, yeah, I can't do anything. Well, we're going to close out of it because I am going to honor what I said. That was Block Swords, and that's only game number one. Next up, we've got Bloons. Now, I've got two of these games here, uh, Bloons and, and uh, Bloons Tower Defense 3. Bloons Tower Defense was one of my favorite Flash games, like, of all time. But this is, you're just shooting balloons in the sky, so it's not the, the tower defense aspect. But this is what led to the creation of Bloons Tower Defense, I believe. So, yeah, we'll just start it up here. Now, this is a Ninja Kiwi game. And we'll just, we'll just resize the window to that nice 4x3 aspect ratio. There you go, and we'll just minimize Flashpoint in the background. So, I I actually thought this was Bloons Tower Defense 1 when I was selecting it from the list. I actually, did I ever play this? I think I did. Oh, uh, yeah, I think, I think I played this. Definitely not as much. I, I totally thought this was Bloons Tower Defense 1. Um, oh, okay. Oh, you get a, a limited amount of, um, yeah, you got four darts. Okay, so you got to, like, be really strategic here with how you uh, launch them. Like, that was probably too much power. And one more. All right, that's not, I mean, not the greatest. And you do have these that get you more darts. But, yeah, they're they're definitely the same sound effects. Ooh, all right, 88.2%. Yeah, and you saw at the beginning there is an unlimited darts mode if you just wanted to, like, cheat, I guess. Or, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be cheating. It is a, a separate mode. But, you know, I, I assume in that your goal is to just pop every single balloon. And, you know, you won't advance to the next level until 100% of them are, are, are popped. So, we'll do maybe a couple more levels here. Ooh, that was... Uh, Wow, that was like a thousand IQ play there unintentionally. Oh, and here you've got a, a nice wall. So we're going to have to like not do that or that. Um, oh, yeah, it's the Iron Curtain. Look at that. That's what it says down here. Oh, my gosh. No, are you kidding? <laughs> okay. I'll take, oh, try again. Oh, you have to pop all of them? Oh, tar, oh, that's your, tar okay, okay. So there is a target, which I assume is all of them. Or maybe not. Yeah, definitely not all of them. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got one more. I have to pop five more balloons. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. All right, let's try it again. Oh, 
Okay. I'm feeling good. Gotta get three more. And, okay, we're at 29, so we can go... Okay, well... <laughs> hey, 69. Nice. Okay. We'll, uh... We'll, um... Move on here. Oh, we got some extra darts. Nice. Oh, no, it's just you get three... Like, it shoots three at one time. Okay. 94.2%. I think that's our best, uh... One so far. Yeah, to be honest, I don't really remember playing this. I think it's it's the sounds of the balloons popping is like making my brain think I've played this, but that's just because of balloons tower defense. Um, it is what I like associate that with. I mean, because I I don't really remember at least getting to this point in it. I don't think I, I don't think I played this a whole lot. Let's just move on to balloons tower defense three. Because, oh my gosh, I definitely remember playing Bloons Tower Defense. Like I said, one of my favorite Flash games. Played it a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep, so the same sound effect. I think this is the last one to not have background music. Because Bloons Tower Defense 4 did. So, we'll go hard. Because I'm, I'm feeling a challenge today. And we're going to start out with just some Dart Monkeys... We'll place them like right here and we'll uh yeah we'll just start and yeah this this version didn't have the like speed it up mode oh my gosh i just remember going through all these upgrades too like jeez where you just like <laughs> you just try to upgrade all of your you know defense mechanisms doing pretty well there I think, okay, because I, I have a feeling I could spend, like, hours on this game. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to set a rule. If I lose or if I get to round 15, whatever comes first. So round 15, that, that's what we're aiming for. Because I, I would like to definitely explore some of the other games and not just spend the entire video on this one. But I can definitely see myself getting sidetracked and just playing this game indefinitely for, like, 30, 45 minutes or something. But, okay, let's... uh. Just start here. We'll start this round. So we're on round three. And I hope we got the got the blue balloons, which contain a red one. That's how this oh, okay. It'll it, it'll get that there. We definitely want to get some more defenses here. Yeah, if you've never played this before, the Balloons basically, you know, as you go on through the levels here, they come in more layers. So, like, red is the base layer, then there'll be, like, a blue one around that, and then I think the next is yellow or green. And then it just, like, builds on top to where, like, you have to, you know, it just takes more more firepower to pierce through the entire balloon. Um, gosh, we got, like, no money here. Like, want to get a, a cannon here. Top secret, that's the... Oh, no, that's not, not That's not the super monkey. The super monkey is already there. What was the top secret thing? I forget. I think you unlock that when you get super monkey or one... I, I think when you get to a certain level or something. Gosh, I don't, I don't really remember. But I know I've unlocked that before. At least I think. Okay. We'll get, I'm going to save for a cannon, because the, the, the cannons were my favorite, uh, my favorite defense mechanism to use. Oh no, they're making it past our defenses. Well, okay, this one will go through here, so it, it should get, yeah, they're, oh, what? Oh my gosh, really? Okay, that's kind of annoying. All right, so we definitely need to increase our defenses and add, let's add a, a attack shooter like down here maybe, and I, I do need to upgrade these definitely. So let's get uh, long range darts. That'll increase the range of that one. Yeah, your uh, money accumulates somewhat slowly, at least in the initial levels here, because obviously there's not as much stuff to shoot. Get extra range on that. All right, 155. 
Yeah, I do wish there was a fast forward option, but this version does not does not have that. So, okay. Let's see. Oh, we'll get extra long range darts. Get long range darts on that. Okay, well, we're almost to round 15 here. So, we got round 14 and then round 15 right after this. I, th I think that's a decent spot to end because, I mean, like, these games could go on for so freaking long. And, I mean, I could do, like, an entire video on just Super Monkey, or Super Monkey, oh my gosh, I got <laughs> Super Monkey Ball, this is not Super Monkey Ball at all. I remember playing that on the GameCube back in, again, like, the mid-2000s. I think we have almost enough to buy a cannon. This is round 15. How about we go until I can purchase a cannon? Because I, I kind of would like to buy at least one other type of defense here. 785, need like 100 more? Come on! And yeah, I, I, I could have definitely set this up a little bit better, add some more defenses, because, uh, well, <laughs> they're definitely getting past here. Let's put a cannon like right here. Uh, I was like, why is it not shooting? Well, I think I'm going to lose this here. Oh yeah, the cannon just shoots super freaking slow when you first get it, that's right. Alright, well those are 15 rounds of Super Monkey. I said Super Monkey Ball again. Balloons Tower Defense, why am I saying Super Monkey Ball? Balloons Tower Defense 3. Um, yeah, that's, that's 15 rounds of it. I've mentioned it a few times on this channel, but I am a huge Portal fan. Portal is one of my favorite game franchises. I bought Portal 2 like right when it came out. It's one of the few video games that I, I think I even pre-ordered it. Like I paid full price for it, which I don't normally do for uh, video games. I usually wait for them to go on sale on, on Steam or something. Uh, so yeah, I, I absolutely love Portal. If you haven't played Portal yet, just do it. You won't regret it. It's a great game anyway. So Portal the Flash version, I was naturally really excited about this when I first uh, you know discovered that it was a thing. Um, let's uh, resize this. Oh, we can't resize the window. Okay, let's play. Yeah, I think this was hosted on Newgrounds. I mean, certainly like at one point. Um, perhaps it was the original place that it was hosted. Yeah, Armor Games. They were the people behind this. Of course, they got to have their like copyright thing, you know, or just like disclaimer, don't sue us, please, whatever. Based on a Valve software game. And gosh, like the music too is pretty freaking good. And I absolutely love this logo, by the way, how they did this. Like, they just, I mean, it's so simple making the portal red, putting the Adobe Flash logo inside of it, but it works so well. Oh, I think you can resize the window. Yeah, okay, so we can resize it a bit more here. So let's, uh, let's do like that. There we go. Um, and yeah, the music you can hear is just like looping um, in the background. But. Yeah, let's do a new game, and I love how they tried to replicate the, like, Source Engine, you know, pop-up boxes and stuff. They did a pretty good job at that. Uh, so it says, you know, it's finally time for your physical test. Subject 15837, the Avatar Science Hand on Portal device is in your hands. All right, let's start. And pressing the key to continue. Good morning, subject number 15837. It is time to begin your test. Ooh, okay. So, they, they even took sound effects from, uh, that. that's like the um, Steam screenshot sound effect. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've played this, so is it WASD? Yeah, it is. Or W to jump, A and D to move, S doesn't do anything, and then you press your left mouse button to launch a portal. Oh yeah, that's right, it just alternates. I do remember that, because um, yeah, when you, when you right click, it just brings up the, you know, context menu, right? So they just had it where when you click once, like I just placed the blue portal. Now when I click again, I'll place the yellow one. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's go here. Yeah, the only thing is it does make it kind of annoying. Like if you misclicked, you'll have to place the blue one again and then the orange one or the, it just looks more yellow in this case. Um, but yeah, so we get out there and we just move on to the next level. 
Okay, so let's go here. And yeah, this is just... This is a super fun game just to, like... You know, just to kill some time with. I mean, seriously, it's, it's super fun. And it has definitely been a while since I've played it. Oh, so we can't... Yeah, darker walls... Uh, you may see this task are different from the walls in your previous task. Those are the portal proof walls. Okay, so it's not just a shadow. It's just portal proof. Okay, I think I think I need to jump. I'm so used to right clicking you, so I just right click there. Gosh, yeah, I have to jump and then go into it. I I, I believe so. Let's do that. There we go. Wonderful. And, okay, we got moving platforms. You can open portals on them when they become active. So, there we go. That's got to be a little bit higher. Oh, wow. That that almost actually worked just unintentionally. All right, let's try it again. Boom. There we go. Ah, don't you love momentum? Okay. Let me actually place the... Oh, shoot. Dang it. <laughs> there I am placing, you know, using the right mouse button again. There we go. Yeah, you can, like, really fling yourself. Um, Alright, I think we'll do this one, and then we'll call it. So, what, sometimes you'll need more space than the room you're in. Uh, that's where the infinite loop comes in. Oh, yeah, of course. So, we just gotta loop ourselves here. There we go. And I, I could have probably made that jump, you know. But whatever. That works too. And, oh, okay, we can do one more. As we explained before this exam, some tasks may risk your performance as a human being. Gosh, you kind of love how they, uh, you know, describe that. All right, that's super simple. Okay, one more. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I knew that was not going to work, but it was just kind of like my initial response. Um, okay, so we have to do is just quickly, like, there. There we go. Okay, one more. One more. This is the last one. Because I'm, like, I'm really getting into this. See, this is what I knew would happen with at least one of these games. I thought it was going to be with Balloons Tower Defense. But uh, it, it's definitely happening with Portal to Flash version. I just want to sit here and play this entire game. But I know we got other stuff to explore. So, okay. We will leave it at that. We completed 12 levels. I think that's pretty good. That is Portal the Flash version. And, I mean, hey, if you don't have Portal and you don't want to spend the money on it right now, try out Portal the Flash version at least. I mean, I I, I would highly recommend it too. It's a, it's a pretty fun game. Definitely one of my favorites. I mean, all of these are. I, I love all these Flash games that I've got in here. And there's a lot more out there that... I just couldn't think of off the top of my head. Like I said, these are just the ones that immediately came to mind. I guarantee you that there's going to be somebody who comments and goes, Hey, do you remember this Flash game? It was called this and you did this in it. I'm going to go, of course I do. How did I forget that? But, you know, I, I just wanted to do this off the top of my head and not really spoil it for myself. Not really, like, search through and, like, see gameplay of these. I wanted to save, like, my genuine reactions um, for, for this video because, I mean, aside from blog, source and I guess a little bit of Port of the Flash version that I played back in 2020. I've not played any of these games since, like, I mean, gosh, I can't even remember the last time. It was years, years ago. But yeah, Run. This was developed by Player03. I believe it was, uh, I mean, they, they got it from Congregate. I don't know if that's where it was first published. I definitely remember this was on Cool Math Games at one point in time. So we're going to go, I think I always did the infinite mode. Um, and we're gonna definitely change the game speed to fast here. Yeah, let's just do, I mean, we'll, we'll do both of these, why not? Or I guess, yeah, edit mode. Oh yeah, this is where you can, I think, make your own, um, yeah, you can kind of make your own levels here, I believe. Oh my gosh, this music, holy crap. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I, uh, heard this. Uh, is this like make? I think this is just editing a... I don't know how this plays into it. I think... Oh yeah, play test. This is what... Okay, th that's what it is. So it is kind of making your own level. Because I was like, how do you... How do you play these? Like, it doesn't modify the original levels, does it? No. So it's like making your own levels and then you just... You, you can, you know... You can play them. So, you know, if we wanted to make this really stupid, we could just go through and like... You know, like, where's the floor here? You could just make everything... <laughs> you could just make everything, uh a solid 
and we'll we'll play test. And so there you go. <laughs> of course, I always got to find a way to like how to just like screw up the game. It seems to be uh, my uh, MO when I do these things, but whatever. Okay, I mean, it's not screwing up the game per se. It's just like, oh crap, I gotta be in the window, jeez. Um, yeah, it's just like making it way too easy. So this is infinite mode. So it just loops a bunch of different chambers or levels, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, this music, man, gosh. Quite good, I have to say. Some nice running music. So, gosh, I thought the fast mode was faster than this. Maybe in Run 2 it was, because I've definitely played Run 2. I don't know about Run 3. I think that was released, like, long after I kind of stopped playing Flash games for a while. Uh, but, okay, let me just get through this level here. I'm evidently not doing super hot on this. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe it doesn't need to be faster. <laughs> I was like, this is too easy. It's not as fast as I thought it was going to be. Go ahead, make a joke there if you want. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, you can get on the... What? I forgot you could get on the sides. What? That just, like, blew my mind, dude. Holy crap. I didn't even realize you could get on the sides. Yeah, you can You can get... Did I... Like, did, did I just never do that? I think I always stayed on the floor. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm trying to remember when I played this game. I think I would just stay on the floor. Oh, yes! Okay. That's enough of that mode. Um... Let's go to let's go to the main menu because what is this adventure mode? I don't, I don't I don't remember. I think this just okay yeah this just starts like with super easy ones and then it kind of just progressively gets more difficult. Whereas the infinite one is just all like the more difficult ones just stacked together. Oh yeah, this one you definitely have to get on the sides. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I should have went on the side wall. Yeah, like that. Go to the right. There we go. And we'll do one more. I'm, I'm kind of feeling one more here. Okay. I can definitely do better than that. Okay, I can definitely do much better than that. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's run. I can, like, barely hear myself talk. This music is blasting in my ears. Okay. Uh, let's just go to main menu here. So, yeah, run. Total classic. Loved it. And what I loved even more, though, than run is orb. This one, and it's not even downloaded. Oh, my gosh. I got to download it. It's somewhat similar to Block Source, but you're using your mouse to, like, drag an orb. Let's do a new game here. Oh, my gosh. This just brings back memories for me. Okay, start level. Okay, yeah, I think it's, yes. Yeah, so you just, well, okay, I just died, I guess. This freaking music slaps, dude. Are you kidding? Listen to this. Okay. Goal! Yeah, this was... This this definitely tests your, you know... Because I, I, I don't think you're supposed to hit the walls. I think... Yeah. So this definitely tests your... Like, how how precise you can move a mouse. So yeah, the way this works is you, you move it over here and then you just lose control of it for a bit. And then, I guess it doesn't penalize you there when it hits that wall. But then you have to go through here really precisely to get it to the end. And there you go. Oh my gosh. Alright, start level. 
Okay. Yeah, and this is when it makes it a little bit larger. This makes it really tiny so you can get through here. Makes it really large again. And I just died. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I accidentally got into the options there. Yeah, this is some... This is some pretty great music, man. I mean, like, let me just... Gosh, I gotta... Let me just close out of this and just... That, like, drop is so good. It's so good, like that, oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, and what is, um, what is this up here? I think this is something you can get, or no, maybe not. I don't know how that plays into something, but maybe it does. Anyway, okay, let's just go through orb here and see, see how well I can do, how far. Let's try to get to maybe level 10. Why not? That's a nice arbitrary number. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it just instantly takes you back to the menu when you when you hit something. So you, there's no like crash animation or anything. You just like, you lost, goodbye. Back to the menu. All right, now this one here. And yeah, like I said, there are some exceptions with the, like when this activates and it brings you down and you do touch the wall, but it still, you know, allows you to live. <laughs> um, and what is the what is the Q? What does this do? Oh, that oh, that's the quality. Okay, so we'll set that the high. Oh my gosh! It honestly gets kind of annoying because you're like, geez, that was that like that precise of a movement, geez. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go through here. Done. Level five. Oh shoot, I didn't see that. Yeah, the freaking trees, man, they can really screw. Oh my gosh! No! Oh. I think you're supposed to avoid. Although I guess in in that case, yeah. So that didn't happen on that other level. Maybe that was a different type of wall. I, I think there were certain game mechanics like that. Like now you want to avoid the red. Goal. And yeah, these are timed, by the way, so it does keep track of your time. Oh, and this is pretty cool. So, you have to change. You saw I just died there when I went through this yellow bar. You have to go down here and change your ball to yellow to go through here. And then you just gotta, you know, get to the end that way. And you definitely don't want to hit that. Yeah, we're gonna get to level 10. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my gosh, this one. Okay, I think you have to... I think this is to get through here. Yeah, this tiny little area. That's what it is. Come on. I think if you hit the red, it will... Oh yeah, it'll just drop you to the bottom and you'll die, so you definitely don't want to do that. There we go. Oh no, I lost! No! No, I hit the edge and I lost! Oh my gosh. Yeah, like I said, you gotta be pretty precise with your movements here. I definitely went way too fast there. Okay, so we do this and then slowly... There we go. All right, level eight. And then, oh, I think this, no, how does that? Oh gosh, how does this work? I don't remember. Oh, you gotta move the box, that's right. 
Oh yeah, there were boxes in this. Okay. Level 9. Okay, I think there's a box that has to be moved here. And then we can go up here to there, get through here, get through here. Um, get in mini mode. Oh my gosh, come on. Now we gotta go over here, get through this tiny little thing there. Come on, there we go. Oh, did I? No way. I. Oh my gosh, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that is so obnoxious. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, you have to, like, set it right on in the center. See, I, I went way over and touched the wall, and then I died. Okay, we'll do level 10, and then we'll call it. I said get to level 10, but whatever. I think, yeah, you can go through the boxes, that's right. Okay, so now you need to, like, take it off here. No, you don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Set it here, take it off, and then... No, 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 no. That was too, too late. Or too early. Oh, gosh, I wanted to grab it. No! That was too early! Oh, my gosh. There we go. Whew. Alright, now I think we gotta leave it here, set it on, drag it back up here, grab that, set it on, take it off, and then take it- oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna beat this, I'm determined to beat this freaking level. This definitely takes a bit of finessing here. Oh my god, I, oh my gosh, I'm like, what am I doing? No, that was too early again! Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, how did that hit the wall? Oh my gosh, that's like, that was so precise. Okay, off, grab, over, let go, on, grab, over, up, yellow. Let's go, and we'll grab it here. And we'll put it on, and we'll take it off, and we'll put it on. Oh my gosh. I, I, I didn't have to wait that long. I'm telling you, I'm gonna beat this freaking level. <laughs> Come on! Oh shoot. Oh no, the box. Ooh, okay, that was kind of close. What? What was that? All right. I think this, however many times this is, is the charm. Okay. All right. This is the last time. I can't sit here and play this game for this long. All right. Okay, once more. Once more. And then, okay, one more time. And then that's the last time. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. I just got to close it. That is... <laughs> You see how hard some of these games can get? Like, jeez. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. Let's just move on to Parking Mania 2. Now, this is one of those games I think it was, yeah, it was published by Cool Math Games. I remember playing this a couple of times. I think it's literally like a parking simulator. It's kind of an odd concept for a game, but I mean, it, it, I guess it works. Let's just play it here. Oh yeah, the, the Cool Math. You should only see this logo on an official Cool Math website. Yeah, okay. So yeah, because that's <laughs> one of the things that would happen with Flash games like this is they would be published on other websites sometimes without the permission of the original publisher. This is a cool math game, though it, I'm sure it wasn't developed by them, I guess by this Novell Games here. We'll just start it. Instructions, use the arrow keys to control the car and park it. Okay, so 
I think it's literally just... <laughs> it's literally just parking a car. That's it. That's it. So we just went straight there. Of course, that's going to get a little more difficult. And there is, like, oncoming traffic and stuff. And you'll crash like that if you make way too sharp of a turn. And then I think, yeah, you just restart uh, from the beginning. Let me make sure I'm in the flash game here. Oh, no. I crashed the car. I went uh, too fast there. Okay. So, yeah, you have to, like slow it down and get right in the center or i guess not completely centered that works okay <laughs> again it's such a like like you think that guy would stop i mean that's how it would be on the actual road if if like you're not just gonna keep going jeez <laughs> so and gosh this uh music is not i mean i guess it's okay Oh no. Oh my gosh, the controls are so weird. Like, okay, let's start here. And where's the access code, by the way? I, I've not seen that once. Yeah, there's nothing here. Like, so, you know, if I wanted to get back to this level, how would I do that? I guess maybe only on, on certain, like, certain areas, like, a, you get to a checkpoint or something, and then it displays the access code. There we go. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kind of precise here. There we go. And I got a zero time bonus. Okay. Oh, yeah. Check this out. <laughs> okay. Let me, uh... Oh, my God. I hate that. You gotta restart. That's annoying. Like, right from the beginning. Let's see if I can beat this car here. I mean, God, he's zooming through here. I mean, look at that. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Alright, so I think we're gonna wait for this guy to- Oh, is he turning? <laughs> what kind of turn is that? Oh no, I wanna go back. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought he was like gonna come over here and park. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, man? Okay, I just registered that. Level four. What if we just go in? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's. <laughs> we're just gonna call it there. This game's kind of annoying. I don't know. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't play that a whole lot because I would get found that super annoying. And like, okay, well, well, first off, what's this password thing? Like, how does that? I mean, I'm guessing at some point you you get to a to an area and. You know, it's... Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even work. Look at that. <laughs> Do you have to type it in? No, it literally doesn't even... Was it never implemented or something, but it's just here? Because I've not seen a single thing for an access code when we were in the game. So, yeah, that's... Maybe, I mean, it could be something with Flashpoint, but I mean, Flashpoint downloaded, you know, the exact Flash object that was on the website, the exact game. So... I don't think it's anything with Flashpoint. I guess maybe it was just never properly implemented into the game. So yeah, honestly, this is my least favorite one so far. And definitely not a super iconic one, I'm sure. But again, it just came to mind. And Duck Life. Yeah, so Duck Life, uh, this was... Okay, so they got it from Newgrounds. That sounds about right. Um, then it was released in 2010. Oh, does it have the release date on all of these? Oh, no release date. Okay, I'm actually curious. Like, does it say... I think Bloxors was like 2007 or 8, something like that. Um, okay, 2006 for Bloons. That sounds about right. Bloons Tower Defense 3. 2009? Really? I thought it was before that. Gosh, that seems like a little bit... It seems late. Maybe it wasn't 3 that I, I... I thought... I mean, I've definitely played 3, but maybe it was 1 or 2 that I played uh, a lot. I don't know. Portal the Flash version 2007. Gosh, that was... Uh, yeah, that was when Portal came out, so that, that, that sounds right. Run was 2008. Orb was... There's no release date, it looks like. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Parking Mania 2, we just looked at. There's nothing. So, yeah, Duck Life was... What was it? 2006? Or 2010. Yeah, okay. So, we'll start this up. This is by Wix. Hopefully not the... <laughs> hopefully not the website creator. Uh, it, definitely not the website creator. But, yeah, Duck Life. Um, Arcade Town? 
I do remember this on the menu. As you moved your cursor around, the duck kind of like derped around there. Let's try to increase this a little bit. There we go. And we'll minimize Flashpoint once again. So this was... If I remember, this is kind of like a... So you, so you own this huge farm and are making tons of money. When one day this tornado comes along and destroys it all, the only thing that survives is a single duck egg. So you have to train this duckling into a racing duck to make enough money to rebuild the farm. So, yeah, this is like a story game, kind of. And, oh yeah, you have to feed it and all this. Yeah, this is like one of those games that you would, uh, you would play when you, I don't know, like, when you had time to sit down. Let me turn this music down. This music is kind of... I'm just gonna turn the music off, because that way I can actually, like, <laughs> you know, hear myself talk. Okay, so what do we got to do? Oh, yeah, and you could add this to your website as well. I always loved it when games just, like, encourage that, because there were some that didn't. They were all like, oh, no, you can only play this on Miniclip, which I get because, like, Miniclip published it or whatever. There was some sort of agreement, but it is nice when the people were like, hey, you want to put this on your website? That's fine. Just don't claim that it's yours, you know? So I think you would go through, and what are these things that are dropping? Oh, I don't think you're supposed to see that. I think it's supposed to be, because, uh, yeah, that's like... Oh, look at this. I, I never even noticed this. I don't remember if you're supposed to see this. I, I don't think you are. I think you're only supposed to see, like, this area here. Because I think that the food, you only get so much food or something. Um, but let's, so, so let's train running. Okay, use the up arrow key to jump, jump over the rolling objects. Actually, I'm going to turn the music back on. Well, okay, I guess I'll have to do that. Well, I wasn't, gosh, I, I wasn't in the game, so I wasn't responding to it. Let's just turn on music. Okay, so let's uh, not enter a race. Let's train running. Okay, use the up arrow key to jump. Jump over the rolling objects. Okay, press space to start. All right. Oh, I was just doing it wrong. I was... Oh, my gosh. That's for... He's jumping. Look at how high that is. He's into the clouds. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. That's going to... Oh. What was... What? What? How did it register that... That was, he did not hit that. Come on, that's annoying. Yeah, so you can't, like, make him move forward. All you're doing is making him jump. That's it. Like, see, this is what happened last time. Like, I guess, th yeah, that he definitely hit. But, okay, I was too focused on getting the um, gold nugget object whatever thing. So, I'm probably not going to focus on that a whole lot. I'm just, you know... I mean, if it happens, that's great. But the main thing you gotta do is, you know, run over, or not run over, get over the things that are flying at you. Oh yeah, they get a lot faster, don't they? Is there an end to this, or is just go as long as you can? I think it's just go as long as you can, because the music's looping. And that's usually an indication of, uh, just, like, an infinite loop kind of thing. At least it can be. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. That was really quick. Okay. So, training over. We're running level 39, so let's train flying. Use the left and right arrow keys to change your direction. Try to collect the coins. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, okay. So they're coins. Well, I just nosedive into the ground there. So they're coins. All right. That, that sounds about right. Oh, my gosh. It's so freaking fast. I can't even, like... I think if you go up and down like this, you'll you'll kind of stay a little bit longer. Maybe, maybe not. No, oh, probably not. No, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you just. No, you're gonna fall. All right, so level ten. I mean, that's like okay, I guess. And we'll train swimming. Okay. Avoid the obstacles. Try to collect the coins. Don't go off the screen. I just love how he's floating in the water. You can swim under it. Oh, well, I guess you were supposed to... Oh, well, that you definitely want to jump over. Or, yeah, I guess you could swim under that, too. No, because you wouldn't be able to get low enough. Oh, yeah, that you definitely got to jump over. 
I mean, you can stay up in the air pretty long. Like, look at that. Oh, shoot. Ooh, that was close. That was also pretty close. All right. So, I've definitely trained <laughs> on running a lot better. So, let's enter the race. We'll do a beginner race here. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll do Green Valley because that'll test the running ability. Oh, yeah. And I don't think you actually do anything. Yeah, you, you just leave it. And if your training level is enough, then you'll you'll come first. Oh, it looks like there was an ad here at some point, which, of course, you know, is not going to show up here. Um, so, yeah, you've won 50 coins have unlocked the color juicy. Oh, yeah, you can change the color. That's right. Oh, my gosh. I think it's under... Uh, how did I just... Is it Duck Shop? Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that's... The, that was the neat thing about this game, is it's kind of like a like a story mode kind of thing. It's not just a quick little solve this puzzle, get to the next level, and then here's a code to get back to it. It's like, you gotta train your duck up, you gotta go through these races. It's something that requires like a bit of consistency, you know, that you wanna keep coming back to. So yeah, that's duck life. And to end everything off, we've got Super Smash Flash, because of course we have to mention this game. It's such an iconic Flash game. Um, honestly, it was one that I didn't really play a whole lot. I much preferred, you know, the real thing. I played a ton of Smash Brothers Melee and Brawl. And Brawl was, what, like 2008? This came out in 2006. And, uh, I mean, I, I definitely played Super Smash Flash. It was kind of nice when you didn't have access to a Wii or a GameCube, and it was like, hey, you guys want to open up Super Smash Flash and do a couple rounds or something? We're just going to play it here. We'll see how good I am. And, of course, the coolest thing was there There were so many characters, you know, from, like, other franchises. Like, you've got Sonic in here, and this was before Sonic came to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. We're going to... Let's actually view the controls. Okay, so Player 1... Oh, yeah, that's the thing, because you would share the keyboard. Oh, yeah, that's right. Of course. How else would you do it? Yeah, you'd share the keyboard. So, um, for player one, it was arrow keys to move, O to jump, and P to attack. And then the second player would use WASD, uh, G to jump, and F to attack. Um, yeah, so let me just get, get into position here. So, O to jump, P to attack. And, okay, we'll click here to start. Enter a new name. Oh, my gosh, they got the sounds in here, too. And, yeah, this was definitely before Brawl. You can see they're trying to mimic the uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee uh, menus here. If Local Swords was successful, you should set your username below. Yes. And there we go. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, the Newgrounds version, which I think is where... Is that where it says it was first published? Um, oh, Publisher Armor Games. I guess, well, they, they got it from... Uh, Newgrounds. So yeah, let's just click anywhere to begin. Oh, they got the menu music too. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, let's do versus. Okay. So do a CP. We'll just do a nice one v one. I'm a Kirby main. Say whatever you want, but Kirby's pretty great. Uh, and let's see. I don't know. We'll do Mario. We'll make him like a level five. And let's see. Let's go with Pokemon Stadium. Okay. Oh, that's the jump key. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Oh shoot! Oh no! <laughs> I'm doing quite terrible. Are there, like, combos? Oh, yeah, there are. Okay. <laughs> Mario's just, like, saying the same sound effect over and over again. Alright, I, th I think I'm getting my bearings here. Let's see if I can maybe beat Mario. Okay, I'm feeling- um, I'm feeling good about this. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, announcer. 
So, yeah. There you go. This game is winner's player one. Melee. Could you change the name? I, I guess you can't, yeah, so... But, I mean, this is such a good attempt to recreate Super Smash Brothers in Flash. I mean, it's like... It, it, it's so good. I mean, come on. Uh... Let's go, uh, I, I guess, you know what, let's do a nice, like, one on three. There you go. Okay, so you just have to do it up there. That's how. Okay, so, set, uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Okay. Let's go. And we'll do... I'll do this one. Okay. Now this will... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I might, I think I might lose this one. <laughs> Ooh. Because I don't even know what the, like, button combos and everything. I mean, I know, like, generally, you know, like, you're going to hit stuff when you attack. But, I mean, I don't I don't know the button. Like, I, I honestly don't know how I'm switching to, like, Meta Knight there. I think, is that is that up? Is that B up or P up in this case? Oh, yeah. I'm going to totally lose this one. <laughs> you kind of love how you can just whack them with a sword, like... Oh man. This game's winner is Team Two. Okay, yeah, that was uh, that was just setting myself up for failure there. Let's maybe uh, I don't know. Let's let's just go again, and we'll do this one. Okay, so I'm wondering how how am I switching to Meta Knight? Is that like okay? That's like your B up or attack up. Oh no, it's just hitting. Okay. <laughs> oh man. This is so good. Oh no, oh no. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm totally losing this one. There's no question. It's so weird playing Smash on a keyboard. It's so. All right. Well, <laughs> that's enough of uh, versus. Um, yeah, I think I need to do some training on that to, to get a little bit better. Um, but let's just see what, uh, so what, what options were there? Name entry? Okay, so that's your, your username. If you want to erase data and about the game. So, of course, they gotta, you know, say, Nintendo, please don't sue us. All that good stuff. Uh, play more games at armorgames.com. And let, let's go to one player mode and... Yeah, let's do standard smash. I don't know if I've ever done this. Classic? Yeah, is this gonna be... Okay, normal, three lives. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of like the original, you know... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong... I'm not even... <laughs> I don't even have my fingers on the right keys. Um... Yeah, this is like the, you know, like the story mode or single player mode from Smash. The, you know, classic stage progression, you know, you fight all the characters, get to Master Hand kind of thing. Though, is Master Hand in this as, like, the final boss? I don't know. Let's just see how, how far we can get. Well. Oh, okay, complete. <laughs> Did Mario, I think Mario just fell off, too. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go, man. If I can actually hit the targets. This is like my favorite Smash theme, I think. Oh my gosh, I don't... I'm trying to hit them. Oh no, get in the game. <laughs> I clicked out of it by accident. Like, I'm like wanting to hit the up arrow key to, to jump. For some reason, that's what I'm wanting to do just naturally. Oh no. This is really bad. Come on, it's no, it's looping. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh no. Oh no, I got out of it again. Dang it. I'm like trying to move my cursor so it's not on the screen. It accidentally came out of it. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. Oh shoot, come on.
Maybe we'll do better as Meta Knight here. I don't even see them. Where are they? There was one up here, yeah. Oh no, I wanna. Yeah, I wanna. Yeah, I wanna hit it. Hello? I'm hitting. There we go. Oh shoot, come on. I, I, I am much better at the hit the targets in real Super Smash Brothers than I am in this. I mean, oh my gosh. Yes! Oh, that wasn't the last one? What? Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, is there a... Yeah, there, okay. There's probably one over here on the other side. I did not mean to do that. New record. <laughs> New record, yeah. Well, of course, it's just because there's no other record on here. Oh my gosh. Uh, although, I also really like this background music as well, so... Okay, but I still like hit, hit the targets. I'd say definitely more than this, but this is another classic theme. I, I love how they have the music in here. Oh yeah, it's you versus yourself. <laughs> oh man, okay, race to the finish. I wonder how many levels there are. Oh no. Again, I'm wanting to hit the up arrow key. Alright, well, I think I lost that one. Oh, you just restart? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that, that wasn't the end? I mean, it's not much of a race if there's no one you're racing against, but whatever. So where's the... Oh, is this the finish or something? No? Oh, go away! Oh, okay, that, that was the finish. I just walked off. Okay, random melee. I wonder if if Nintendo ever contacted the devs of this or the the website where it was hosted about using the music because that sounds like a Nintendo thing to do. Oh my gosh! What? <laughs> All right. I I kind of oh do I want to continue or what the heck? Let's just do it. Okay. But next time I die, we're gonna we're gonna call that. But I would like to, I mean not the next time that I die like once I run out of lives, you know. Oh my gosh. This is so unhinged. It's, oh my gosh! You like flung to the other side of the map! Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Alright. Oh, here it is! Here's Master Hand. Okay. So, yeah, they are they are keeping true to the original. You remember that, uh, that glitch in Super Smash Bros. Melee where you could play as Master Hand? That was the coolest thing when we figured out how to do that. Alright, well... <laughs> All right, well, we're on the last level, so at least I would think with it being master hand. So, let's just let's just try to beat him here. Oh no. Oh, shoot. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Whew. Nice recovery there. If you want to call it that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Kirby freaking screaming over here. And I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, the trophy thing. Congratulations. I mean, it's the it's the sound from it. It's just him going across the screen. Oh yeah. Well, let's let's definitely go through these uh, credits here. Oh yeah, the sprite credit. So it was uh, coding. Oh, <laughs> unknown. So all the coding was done by one guy. All sprite sheets were retrieved from the Spriter's resource. Most music is from Super Smash Bros. itself. Other music is from Smashing Live, which the live orchestra played songs. Gosh. Thanks for playing. What a classic. Oh my gosh, guys. There you have it. That's a nice, uh, I was going to say little video, but this video is definitely uh, pretty long at this point of just going through and see that was only nine flash games. Imagine if I was trying to go through like the entire mini clip library or something. I mean, that would take way too long. Um, I mean, we could certainly like I'm I am totally not opposed to doing this again in the future at some point if there's enough demand for it of course i mean i don't know how well this video is going to do but i'm sure there's going to be people in the comments leaving names of flash games that they remember playing back then and i mean i could definitely see myself doing like a viewer suggested flash game exploration marathon thing uh, so that's definitely a possibility this was just like i said a random idea i had just you know on a whim just an off the cuff kind of thing and if you watched all the way till the end, uh, thank you very much. Wow, I that's uh, that's kind of nuts because this video is definitely going to be pretty long. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting and a bit nostalgic maybe, and a nice send off to Mini Clip. I think even though yes, all of these games were not on Mini Clip. In fact, I think Block Stores was I mean the only one here published by Mini Clip at least, but. Yeah, mini clip. Again, the website's still around, but I mean, as we knew it, it's gone. And it's sad, but uh, you know, the good news is if you ever want to replay all these Flash games and relive uh, that experience, projects like Flashpoint are out there. And that's why I think it's really awesome that there's still a community around this stuff even today. So, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.